What is going on y'all? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Here in today's video, I'll be doing an interview with Buccaneers undrafted free agent, John Mulchin. Mulchin is a guard from Boise State. He played, he was a starter for three years at Boise State and he was named a first team all Mountain West two of his seasons there, an honorable mention in one. Here in this interview, I will be talking with him a little bit about his career at Boise State, his expectations heading into the NFL, and much more. Before you watch this interview, if you have not already, please go below this video and subscribe and turn on my post notifications for the best sports interviews on YouTube. Here's the interview. Hey, what's going on, man? How you doing? Doing good, yourself? Pretty good, pretty good. So, uh, first off, I want to take the time to thank you very much for coming on here and talking with me for the, uh, for the interview. No, thank you. So, um, my first question is, now with the pandemic going on right now, what have you been doing to stay in football shape and kind of pass time? Yeah, for sure. I mean, when I'm, before the draft, I was up in Boise. I was training with my buddy, Ezra Cleveland. Uh, he was left tackle. I was a left guard. And uh, we started uh, barely, I want to say, two weeks in facility training, which was cool seeing the guy. And I, I wanted to be around football. I was excited for spring ball. And then that kind of got shut down. So we took it to a our uh, assistant strength coach to garage. And that was fun, grinding in there. And then I wanted to make the transition to get all my stuff out of my house in Boise to Vegas where I, uh, I was raised. So I'm, I'm with my parents right now, and uh, we made that transition. So I started training back at where uh, Phase 1 is the facility name. That's where I trained at the Combine. So I'm, I'm there now full time, and it's been great. Uh, I'm with a bunch of really cool guys and uh, vets and rookies of that nature. So I learned a lot. We're grinding together. I mean, uh, there's Raiders guys. There's Giants. Uh, New York Giant guys, um, kind of all over the place, and it's been great. So now, um, when did you know that you would be signing with the Buccaneers, and what was that like for you? What was that moment like for you? It was unreal. I mean, it's, you got to think about all that time you put in. I mean, not even thinking about your senior season, which I wasn't thinking about the NFL at that time, but from then all the way through training for your uh, all-star games like when i went to the nfl pa that was an awesome blessing and uh, then getting that uh, acceptance to the combine was just a thrill and training for that and being in that moment and meeting all these guys uh watching it pay off all the way towards sitting on the couch uh, and just waiting for your name to be called and you know it, it didn't happen but i'm so happy with the tampa Bay bucks and i'm i'm a uh, I think I, I, Antoine Murray, he recruited me at Boise State, and he also uh, found me for Tampa Bay, and I, I'm blessed to be there. I'm there, amazing coaching staff with Coach Gilbert and Coach Goodwin uh, helping me teach the playbook and stuff like that, and with a bunch of really cool rookies, so I'm, I'm fired up. So now, um, what do you like most about head coach Bruce Arians? I, the thing I like about him the most is immediately, like, having the rookies get reps and it's ironic this at this time of the year right um he said in an article this was a lot, quite a while ago that the rookies would have had over 500 reps but that's what i like about him and i know whenever this thing opens back up and we're going to get our chance to not only uh, kind of work in the playbook not only you know we've been learning it but we want to get reps at it right, right. so we'll, we'll we'll get our chance to to show what we got, and he'll, he'll give everyone a shot. And uh, just the way he hit his mindset for the team, I think, is is very unique, and, and those are probably the biggest things. So now, for Buccaneers fans who don't know who you are, maybe how would you describe your game to them? Uh, it's physical, very physical. Um, I like The reason why I love the guard position and also working center now is uh, you get to help run the show. So... Uh, being able to uh, call mic points and being able to be that facilitator and, and as far as communi communication and then also being a part of every double team is uh, something that I love to take part in. So the physicality for sure. So now what is it like for you to know that come the 2020 season, if there is one, you could be blocking for one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time in Tom Brady? I knew you were going to ask that. It's, it hasn't <laughs> hit yet. I, I saw it. I, uh, he had a chance to speak to the rookies in a meeting, and it's it's one of those things. I mean, at the end of the day, it's it's business, right? When I show up, I it, it's business. I, I got to take care of my job. Um, that's the goal. And 
uh, trust me, don't get me wrong. It is, it is an honor and it's, it, it, it is exciting and it's special. And, and but once when I get there, it's, it's business time and, and that's how everyone will be treating it. I'm, I'm assuming. So, um, we, we have one mindset and I just can't wait to get this thing kicked off. So now coming out of high school, you were a three-star recruit. So what made you want to choose Boise state? I wasn't big in the recruiting. I, I don't even know how I got those stars to be honest. Uh, I, I wasn't a big fan of those those big camps, and uh, I don't even know what we had at the time, but uh, I, I just wanted to play sports, and it just naturally happened, and I uh, came in as a basketball guy, so I went to Faith Lutheran instead of Bishop Gorman, because I wanted to play all four years in basketball, and it kind of grew into this thing where I found my love in football, and uh, just being able to have fun and go from receiver to fullback to tight end to O-line my junior and senior year I, I just had a great time with it and I think that's what kind of jump started the huddle highlights and I uh, thank God I got some eyes on the tape and it just naturally happened so it's it, and then as far as Boise State goes like I went up there once I went up there uh, for, for uh, a camp and I loved it I loved the culture I got to sit down with Coach Harson and he he displayed and he showed the plan that he had for me and if I were to follow it things would go great and and it was an amazing experience so uh, it's it was it was it was exactly what I wanted I just jumped on it immediately all right so now this season at Boise State you were named first team all Mountain West what what was your final college season like for you it was awesome and and I think the the largest award and the most um important award and the one I'm most proud of is is the uh, being a captain and and that just really showcased the kind of relationship I have with all the guys and I it, it took a lot of work and I and I loved it I got to it took me those those first four years to get to know each person and like my goal wasn't to tell people what to do but it was to uh, kind of know where they're coming from and understand like what's the best way to get to know someone and if, if I need something done for the better of the team, like you don't treat everyone the same, right? You you come you come at them a certain way, and uh, it was just cool to get to know all the guys. And you know, I had respect for them; they had respect for me, and that's what I was most proud of. And we, we put together uh, not only a successful team, but a really focused team. And it was definitely all because of my uh, my teammates that that we got that far. So I, I was super excited and happy for it. So now, throughout your career at Boise State, you won or accomplished numerous of uh, accolades and stuff like that. And since your redshirt sophomore season, I believe you've only um, not started one game. So now, take me through what your whole career at Boise State was like. Shoot, I, it was it was something where I just wanted to be on the field. So I came in as a tackle. I, I, I was on practice squad at left tackle, and then uh, after that. They, uh, there was kind of a, a role for a, a right tackle position, so I was fighting for that, and uh, I I lost to a senior, and and I was just ready to go, and like my 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 whole goal was no matter uh, what week it is, I want to be prepared like I'm a starter, and uh, that was a big growth year for me. I learned how to really watch film and uh, check out defensive tendencies, and there was just a lot of core things that I learned in that season, and I had my shot. Um, I was able to start in many games and, and be able to get that experience early on. And sophomore year was amazing. I played three different positions that year. I got, got some tackle work, some guard, uh, both sides. So that was my first experience in, uh, interior-wise, and that was a blast. And then my uh, junior year, I was able to just stay with left uh, left guard the entire season, so I got to really – focus in on that position and I got to really get to grow with Ezra and then uh, the, the last two years or the last year it was awesome I got to play right tackle at Florida State in a couple more games and uh, left guard at Florida State and I also got to just kind of experience being a left guard again and kind of honing in and having a solid group of guys on the field and two of them being my roommate so it, it was cool so now you just mentioned the Florida State game. So to start off the season, you guys traveled on to Florida State and ended up beating them. What was that game like for you? It was hot. It was humid. It was fun, though. 
I tell you what, it was it was cool being in that stadium and just the entire build up to it. Um, it was the into the off season preparing for it, being in the indoor, listening to chant like like their 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 classic chant, and then actually being there in in that stadium was just. I, I never thought it'd play out that way, and it was it was beautiful, like how it ended up working out and going from Jacksonville uh, down into their territory was 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 a cool situation. So I, I honestly, like that game was awesome. We we, we stayed focused and uh, we battled and uh, we just stuck together, and it, it was a great team win. And I'll always remember that one. So now you mentioned throughout uh, your college career, you've played numerous different positions. What do you think that flexibility, how could that help you at the next level? Well, I'd hope it helped me a lot. And I think, uh, to be honest, the biggest reason why I, I, I like doing that is just to help the team. And that, that's my mentality. I just, I just want to help uh, and help to fill a role that will best shoot the team to win. I just want to win. <laughs> that, that's what I'm about. That's why I went to Boise State. And that's why I'm excited to go to Tampa Bay. And uh, we're, we're all focused that way. So, Whatever's best, uh, whatever best way they could use me, I'm, I'm all for it, So, Now, at what point in your college career did you know that you had a legitimate chance of playing in the NFL? Um, I would say probably junior, junior year. Uh, but it really never entered my mind. I was, I was purely fix, fixated on winning that championship and, and – being bought into uh, the Bronco way and just enjoying the moment, I think what was the biggest thing. And I never really drifted outside of that. And I think that's what helped me um, stay focused throughout that junior and senior year uh, was just enjoying the moment, enjoying the guys that I'm around, um, knowing that pretty soon it's all going to change. So um, there wasn't, there wasn't like a time where I was like, I was more focused on the NFL than college. It was just, it just naturally happened. Just kind of like how recruiting went from high school to college. It's just a natural transition and just me trying to stay in the moment. So now, uh, do you have a current or former NFL offensive lineman who you model your game after? Shoot. There, there's so many. Like, I, I think the biggest thing is each year, I, I don't have a specific guy, but each year, uh, my online coach, Coach Vidal, uh, of, the, of the seasons that he was with us, he would get us an offensive lineman. So, like, anywhere from, like, Zach Martin to all these other guys, like uh, uh, Yonda and, and, and stuff like that. And just seeing an assortment of these NFL guys, these vets, these caliber-like guys, like, really putting it all together, just trying to absorb as much as you possibly can, um, I think – like is what I really looked at and just trying to put together all these, you know, strong points and things that like I need to get better with. And also comparing it to that kind of level, what would probably be the biggest thing. So it was more than just one person. It's, it's really the accumulation of, of a lot of the guys I've watched save on. So now do you have any one specific uh, defensive lineman who would love to line up in front of? Uh, not in particular. Uh, I mean, Aaron Donald is an amazing defensive lineman, and I like that'd be awesome. And I know it's it's one of those things where in college, like you'll you'll watch like NFL like, games, and you'll see him on tape, and like it almost they'd make a note like, what if you're blocking Aaron Donald? And it's one of those cool things where it kind of sinks in. You're like, like I would love to to take on that challenge, and um, not just him, but any of the guys. I mean, um, it. It's it's cool to to watch that on TV and be and, and know that you're going to be in that moment at some point. So now the final question: What do you think you need to do to make the Bucks 55 man roster? I'd say try to master the playbook as quickly as possible, eliminate missing assignments. I think that's that's the number one thing. If if you can have a reputation that you're reliable, it, it goes a long way. Um, at least that's how it worked in college, and like that's my motto. If I can just make sure that I I know what I'm doing, I can handle my business, and and it, it goes a long way. That's number one, and also staying healthy uh, and just staying physically ready to go, mentally too. Um, those are two huge things, right? Especially the mental side. Um, 
but just visualizing, preparing, and just getting ready for anything to come. So, especially at this time and what's going on. All right, man. Thank you very much for taking your time to do this interview with me. I'm really excited to see you get down to Tampa and go to work. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Have a good one. You too. Thank you very much for watching my video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.